Uh, in the comment section, I got a request asking me how to draw a neuro. I will quickly show you how to do it in this tutorial. It is very quick and easy. First, let's grab our polygon tool and uh, draw a hexagon. Okay, so this will be the body of our neuro. Um, yeah, it doesn't matter that whether it's uh, being upright or not, because we can adjust it later. Then, let's grab our ellipse tool and make a nucleus. Okay. So, how do we create these dendrites and axons? So there is a function that I want to show you today, which is called expand that can allow us to turn paths into shapes first let's create some paths that uh, can be the base of our dendrites A very straight axon. Oops. Like that. Then um, use the pencil tool to create some alignments. Hmm. This one looks a little bit weird. Okay, and then more. Okay. And let's give our neuron a color. I will fill some green into it, like so in the example. to be slightly darker. Then I lock these two and also give the stroke the color of our neuron. They are a little bit too thin at the moment so I will increase their stroke thickness. The ending of the dendrites and axons are rounded but uh, now we have a square ending, so that looks like a cutoff. And we need to adjust that. Uh, let's come to Appearance. If you don't have it, you can go to Window Appearance and call it out. And then click on Stroke, then um, you can make the caps into round caps. Then you will have these uh, round endings. So these dendrites are at the moment all paths, so so we cannot make it into a structure that has like this has an outline and they're all merging together. And I'll teach you a function called expand. It is a function that can allow us to make these paths into objects and that will allow us to make outlines and fills. So I'll quickly show you how to do it. So uh, select your path and then come to object, expand, right here. And um, it will ask you, do you want to expand fill or stroke? Uh, here we only have stroke, so it doesn't really matter because we don't have fill, um, but I will still click both. So uh, just in case. And now uh, you can see this expanded stroke has turned into an object instead of uh, the uh, original stroke. And you're also able to give it an outline. Let's uh, fill in a color as an object. And you can also adjust the thickness of the outline. So then we need to work on the rest of the uh, strokes. You can do it at once. Uh, so just select all of them besides this one that we have already processed and then expand all of them at once like that and now they're all individual objects 
So we can do some uh, adjustments to put them to the places that we want them to be. Uh, this one looks a little bit awkward uh, right here. I can delete them like that. Okay, let's unlock the neuron body that we had before. Okay, and uh, lock the nucleus again. Okay, now we're ready to combine all these components together into one big neuron. So just select all of them and then go to your Pathfinder tool and click on Unite. And you'll see uh, your dendrites and the cell body are all connected together now. I'll put it back so you can see the nucleus again. And now we only need to do some minor adjustments around the uh, cell bodies. Now we only need to do some minor adjustments around the cell body like that to smoothen up the transitions. And you can also give it a gradient if you like. But yeah, that's how you uh, draw a new row. Uh, please like and subscribe to Draw Biomed so uh, you can follow up the graphical abstract tutorials. I look forward to seeing you there.